Good evening, everyone. I'm Krista Gutierrez. The man accused of trying to kill a woman and then attacking Albuquerque police officers who responded on Thursday appeared before a judge today. Today, police confirmed the names of the officers injured. News 13's Jose Mitri is here with more. Crystal Anthony Abeta's son called police two days ago saying his father killed his mother, that he was kicking and hitting her in the head. The son told police he heard Abeta apologize and then saw him strangling his mother. When officers arrived at the home near Tramway and I-40, police say Abeta attacked them, even punching, punching an officer three times in the face. Police tased Abeta and arrested him. Abeta's charges include attempted murder and aggravated battery against a peace officer. Allegations a judge said today he's very concerned about. I'm also concerned about the um, physical condition of one of the alleged victims who apparently is in the hospital right now with serious injuries. So uh, $500,000 cash or surety is the bond and I'll set it for a 10 day rule case. Thank you, sir. The victim's entire face was fractured. Her bottom jaw was broken in half and she had a brain bleed. APD says she's still in critical condition. Sergeant Ferris Simmons seen here in previous, a previous story with KRQE News 13 had bruising under her eyes, ringing in her ears and a swollen right thumb. Sergeant Paul Judd also had swelling after he was hit in the face. When police questioned Abeta after the incident, all he would say was that he was cursed. He told police, it's not my soul, it's not me. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Jose. Now, a background investigator in court said Abeta has two misdemeanor convictions for DWIs, but no felony criminal history.